Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are doing the Minecraft Creator Challenge for December. It is called Grave Intentions, and I'm setting up the computer right now to build the world. It will be on hard, cheats on, survival, and the purpose is to find as many unique death messages as possible in 15 minutes. So that will should be interesting. I'm good at dying. I'm not sure if I'm good at dying on purpose. I'm given a bed and a fishing rod. The fishing rod starts a timer. It's part of the data pack. And I just need to set it down and start the timer. And we're off and running. I'm going to give you multiple views because especially at night it's really hard to see and video makes it even worse i can't see as clearly as in the replay mod so things that appear obvious look more like this and it's much harder to see than when you're playing than what i can see after the fact this will be the first death drowning I should respawn by the bed, except for the fact that I didn't click on the bed, so I did not reset my spawn point. There's death number one, and I am not where I should be, but I will jump off and get the next death. Of course, that is death from falling from a high place. And now I need to get down to the bed where... I can reset my spawn point because I really don't want to be appearing at the top of this cliff every time I die. So little things eat up your time when you've only got 15 minutes. Click the bed and now it's off to search for the next way to die. This is actually my fifth or maybe sixth, fifth attempt at trying this effort this is the first one that was worth recording and editing because it's only 15 minutes but it takes me twice as long to edit that and now I just need to find another way I gather up some blocks and then I can go, I need to be taller. I need to fall four blocks. And that allows me to take damage. And when I die, falling four blocks, I get the death message that you hit the ground too hard. So I should be close. And there we have it. I hit the ground too hard. So respawn next to the bed and we are off for the looking for the next death. At this point when you're playing, you really are trying to find the next death. So you're spending a lot of time looking around and thinking. Now, I am looking and I just spotted the lava. Lava is a good way to die. If you have to pick one. I did touch the bed, reset the spawn point, and now I die. Gintian tried to swim in lava. And we're back at the bed. Now let's find the next one. I have a couple ideas. Largely I'm thinking I need to suffocate. And for that I'll need blocks. So, I also need blocks to, well, get around. And I can't suffocate. Suffocate in a wall is the only way to suffocate in a wall. I checked, and the only way to suffocate in a wall is with sand. And I don't remember that at this point in the game, so I'm still looking. But I know sand will work. So, I'm going to go down to the bottom of the ocean, 
is this river technically and gather some either gravel or sand and then I can go ahead and do the suffocation in a wall. At this point I'm having difficulty digging the sand because my feet are on the ground and swimming causes digging to be more difficult. Sand. Now that my feet are on the ground, I just need two blocks. Like I said, this was my fifth run, so I know how to do the sand, and I know that I need sand, but I was thinking about it too much. So, and that caused me to make silly mistakes. I forgot the fact that when you do the sand, it pushes you out of the way. But again, I knew better. I've seen people do it. They dig a hole straight down and then do the sand. So it's not that difficult. And yet, if you overthink it, you make it so. And there we have it. I died by suffocating in a wall. Now at this point, I have decided that I need to get out of this ravine. And I just haven't figured out the best way to do that yet. Now, keep in mind, when I watch this back in hindsight, it seems like I am just making decisions as slow as you can imagine. And it is as annoying for me to watch it as it is for anybody else to watch it. Because I keep, can't help but thinking, why am I going so slow and making decisions so slowly? It even looks worse when it's in the third person. When the character is just looking around the screen and doesn't appear to be making a decision or is doing something that you can see when you're in the game but you can't see it in the replay mod, then it looks like you're just wasting time. Now, right here, I am collecting more dirt so that I can pillar up and get out of this ravine. In hindsight, the first problem I see is that I don't take enough dirt. I don't take enough blocks to pillar all the way out. So I end up having to go back down, gather more blocks, and then pillar out. It's just troublesome. I've always liked the third-person perspective that the replay mod allows me to do. There I go down, collecting more dirt. The replay mod is a special mod that allows me to play back and get a nice viewpoint of the game and how it happened. It's really useful for reconstructing how I died and uh, can make for some interesting ways to view the combat. I guess you can see who does what and, and what really happens. You can even slow it down or speed it up. So if you want that slow motion effect, you can actually get it. Builders like to use the replay mod because it allows them to zoom the camera around the object that they built. So that's always effective. I like it because it also allows you to see more because I can turn the brightness up so that even if it's dark out or in the water, you can see everything clearly. And that's when I'll start to notice immediately things that I didn't notice when I was playing the game. Which is like, why didn't you see that? Either way, the viewpoint from outside my character itself, the, what I've been referring to as the third person view, allows me to make the game more interesting. And now I've got enough dirt, I can get out of here. And so keep in mind that I'm still looking for some place I can go to kill myself some more. I've gotten five deaths and I need to figure out some more pretty quickly. 
I also know that I will have additional options for deaths once it gets dark and mobs start to spawn. But I'm not there yet. And I really don't want to waste a lot of time. But you have to travel around to find the things that you want. I'm going to gather some more blocks in case I need them. Probably in hindsight not the best decision. Again, seems like a waste of time. I really need to get some place where I can get a hold of some wood so that I can actually make something. I really like the swimming animation which you can see here. And I love swimming in the water, ocean, riverbed. Ever since they updated the ocean biomes, I love watching the characters swim along. There's just so much more to see, especially with the coral. And now I am at the land. I can set my bed down. It's getting dark. So it tr ends up throwing me into a sleep mode, which I don't want. So I got the advancement Sweet Dreams. And now I'm going to go look for mobs. Or anything else I can look for. Get some wood. In hindsight, getting wood is probably a waste of time. But if you want to get certain advancements or create fire, you really need to. And I'm going to move back so that it can kill me closer to my spawn point. Much better lighting. It really makes a difference. Killed by a wolf. That was a unique one. That's the sixth death. And I've got my wood and such. I'm going to go build a crafting table. Again, waste of time. Not the crafting table. The dropping, putting wood down and then having to pick it back up again. I should take some lessons from speedrunners who, who do these things faster. I just can't seem to do things quickly. I don't even talk fast enough for most people. At this point, I don't see the ground coming. Uh, I'll notice him in just a minute. As soon as I do, I will run over to him. So he can kill me. Of course, he takes a little while. Slain by a drowned. Very cool. I don't know why it takes drowned so long to show up. I didn't even see the drowned still there. But he does attack me again. And I'm debating trying to kill him. And then I decide that maybe I'll just run. Then I notice the creeper. So, obviously, I have to be killed by the creeper. That's death number eight. So, now I'm looking for other mobs. There's the spider. And the spider is attacking me. Again, it seems like they kill you faster when you're norm playing the game normally. It's only when you're trying to die that it gets difficult. Now, I thought I heard a skeleton earlier. Nope, it's a zombie. So let me get over here so the zombie there's a skeleton you can see it go by me at the upper left but i can't see it in the game so i don't know that it's there killed by a zombie now i don't know what else i can do i've only got 34 seconds left i'm going to pillar up and see if i can spot that skeleton that gives me a total of 10 deaths at this point and no real chance of getting any more. If I hadn't wasted time earlier, but hindsight's a wonderful thing. 
And we're down to five, four, three, two, one. And time is up. And there are my deaths in order. <laughs> <laughs>